and it's time for the awards again. This this time it's for April, and we've actually found three of them. There was a bit of a discussion if someone, some la last bottle should have gotten a nomination, and yeah, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. so I'm I'm sitting on the side for, for the third place, and uh, <clears throat> the third place this year, uh, this month, uh, April 2023. It's the Yoshi. Yoishi single malt from Nikka. And uh, the Yoishi distillery lies on the very northern island of Spain, uh, of Spain, of Japan. And uh, it's Hokkaido. And this is the first distillery uh, Nikka built in 1934. It's a wonderful remote uh, distillery. Uh, but you, you you had been there. Yes, it's I think it's the most beautiful distillery um, in the world. I've I've visited and I think that's the most beautiful. It's kind of like a bit of a a, a park and a little bit of a like a theme park because you have a, a little Japanese guy who shovels the coal to the <laughs> under the stills and you have like a lunch area and picnic places and it's just really 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 beautiful. But it's remote. It's it's in the end of the world. Hokkaido is it's just it's the end of the world, but it's really, really nice. And they have snow up there, yeah. so there's a temperature difference and maturation runs faster. And this one shows a, a light uh, peaty character, smoky character, and they're really shoveling coal. And this is forbidden in Scotland and mm. in the complete EU uh, due to fine dust. And in Japan, it's still still possible. Yeah. And uh, then they have some, well, influence from the sea, a little brine, uh, very complex, very full. I found that whiskey wonderful. It's uh, in our shop on whiskey.com for the Netherlands. We're selling this one for 69. Yeah, 69, 90. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next one, actually you did the tasting, but I tried it actually as well. I didn't do that many tastings because I've been in Japan, uh, not in Japan, I've been <laughs> to Scotland and I've actually visited a distillery and the Seneke is um, a very, a very nice whiskey from the distillery. Yeah, so I think um, there are two um, standard bottlings without an age statement from the Kilchoman distillery and they are named on two beaches or bays. One is the Machir Bay and the other is the Seneik. And this one shows uh, in the meantime a little bit more of sherry influence. So it's uh, voluminous, shows dark fruitiness and uh, an overwhelming smokiness due to the, uh, the, uh, the malt, uh, the peated malt. And uh, well, this is, uh, I think, I have to look it up. It's the click on one. It's 48.90 uh, in the whiskey.com shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, I've actually learned something new. Uh, if you look at the aisles uh, around Scotland, and then you find a lot of places that end in AIG, mm -hmm. Lafroig, Seneig, and that is actually a Viking influence. If you have a place that ends in AIG, it had to be at some point be under uh, Viking occupation. So mm -hmm. this is kind so of a bit of a... Viking. Therefore, the beach, not too bad. Machia Machia bay, bay. Uh, doesn't no, have an no, AIG, no. but... Freuk at the, a bay, yeah. snake at a bay. Mm, yeah. yeah, might be. <laughs> they got inland on the isles as well, these, yeah. these but Vikings. But they beached there. Yeah, yeah but they, they just... Yeah, raided the islands, occupied mm -hmm. the islands, um, yeah, colonized the islands. Yeah, <laughs> however you want to say that. Mm. Yeah, first place. So this is the Aaron 25, and <laughs> and uh, if uh, it's already 20, that good. Yeah. So uh, this is gone, and uh, I gave the bottle with the uh, with half the content to a friend. <laughs> he, he asked very friendly. So. This is not that cheap. It's around 370 uh, on the shelf, wherever you look. And uh, it's 25 years old. And the uh, Aaron distillery was founded in 1995. And in the starting two, three years, the cast quality hadn't been that good because they ran out of money. 
and they had re refill casks used then. And this is from a little bit later, so 97. And uh, there the cask improved a lot. And this is a wonderful 25-year-old, uh, very mature, very uh, a good oaky note, but not bitter. So mm -hmm. this is uh, ex-bourbon uh, ex cask, so it is quite golden, dark golden, but has not the the brownish reddish influence from a wine or from from a sherry so mm -hmm. this is ex bourbon cast matured for 25 years really a good one did they actually open it as the isle of aaron distillery they opened that yeah that was they the said name. Isle of, because now that they have the lac distillery i've been to both of them so i tried the 25 as well they had both um they now emphasize a little bit more onto the lochranza distillery it will still be the Aaron single mold for the future, but they are going to be more of the Lochranza distillery because they do have the second distillery of Lag, which is also an Aaron single mold whiskey, and but they go with Lag single so, mold whiskey. And they're owned by the same proprietors. Yeah. And uh, Lochranza is the town uh, close to the, uh, the first Aaron distillery. So it's called Lorenza. Yeah, Lorenza is up in the north, and uh, the lag is down in the south. And the lag is for the peated whiskey, a smoky whiskey, and the Aran in the future is just uh, unpeated whiskey. And there have been the Machia Moor, mm -hmm. the smoky one from the mosses on the west coast of Aran. And uh, well, I think this will become uh, a collector's item. Mm, uh, is going to be something to cherish in the future but I've actually had that question uh, down in the comments uh, when I ask for questions of the distilleries and I've actually had that question answered by the people from the distillery so uh, have a look at the distillery video when it comes out I think that will still take like four or five weeks or something like that and they will have that in very much detail yeah but still really nice nice whiskey and that is the uh, gold award for april 2023 and yeah if you live in the netherlands you can buy all buy them on whiskey.com and yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time